Hello, welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and um, Creality sent me Hyper PLA for the testing. This is their newest PLA designed to be printed on higher speeds and we can have better melting, better layer adhesion even on those higher flow rates. Now I got uh, two spools, uh, exactly same material, even the color is the same, but in future it would be better if I would get uh, one ordinary material for the reference and in that case we can have very nice comparison in the same video. But don't worry, I have that regular material testing I'm using in these videos. So these results will be comparable with those which I did in earlier videos. Every result is available for everybody, but for my Patreon supporters, uh, I prepared that summary table so they can easily compare these results with those I did in earlier videos. This is my only gift to the Patreon supporters. Now currently I'm on my workplace because the fastest Creality printer I own currently is this Ender 5 S1. It's here because I uh, presented it uh, to my students and um, it's not bad. I mean, maximal printing speed is 250 millimeters per second. It has some limitation with acceleration because this is not correct swipe printer, but cubic frame Cartesian. This means one of the stepper motors is on the moving part, but I will do these printings as fast as possible and we will see the results at the end. Maybe the layer adhesion test, I will reprint from some regular material to have a better comparison. It's in red color, very nice vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside. Carbot spool, uh, nice to see these uh, scales, so we, approximately we can see how much filament we have on the spool. And here we can see some basic information for the printing. I think one important data is missing here and that's the weight of the empty spool. Usually the printing I'm starting with the temperature tower and this one will be from 230 degrees Celsius down to 190 degrees and the start is ok and this is the last element on 190 degrees Celsius and actually on each element it looks great there are no stringing and the overhang looks great but I will analyze this later when it's completely finished the printing is finished a few seconds ago and immediately I want to check the adhesion to the bed uh, which is Great, you definitely have to wait until it cools down. The bed cooled down. And as you can see, it is perfect temperature tower on any element. Maybe just a little bit more stringing, it is visible here on 230 degrees Celsius on the back side. But beside that, uh, it is great on any temperature element. Almost all test objects will be printed at once on 215 degrees Celsius. Only the test specimens for the layer adhesion test will be printed separately because I want to print them from some reference material too. Printing of this group is almost finished and it will be printed in approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes which is actually half of the time which I usually print on Ender 3 or something similar. Beside these uh, objects for the layer adhesion I have these uh, hooks because I want these test objects to be printed from other material too. And in the center I have that cylinder because I don't want this printing to slow down because of that minimal layer printing time. The hooks are finished and now only these test objects for the layer attention test will be printed and of course that cylinder in the middle. All test objects are printed from this Hyper PLA. This is CR PLA. Uh, only Creality PLA filament currently I have and um, I opened it maybe more than a year ago so just in case I dry it here at the 2 hours on 50 degrees Celsius and I will reprint those test objects for the layer attention test and the uh, test hooks. I will use the same G code like previously with the Hyper PLA. Visually I cannot see any difference in, during the printing between these two materials. Mm, I'm curious later if I will experience any difference in the layer attention. And it's finished. The object looks very similar like with the previous material, but I think it's time for the material testing. And I will start with the layer adhesion test. So these are those vertically printed test objects for the layer adhesion. And I'm starting with CRPLA. Mm, quite weak, below 20 kilograms. And now the hyper PLA. And this was very strong actually. 
Well, the difference was very big and I'm not sure that this CRPLA has weaker layer adhesion because it is one year old filament or printed faster. But anyway, I can confirm that this Hyper PLA has great layer adhesion, even printed on these higher print speeds. Compared to the other PLA filaments from our previous videos, which are actually printed slower. And now the hook test where I will have some tensile and uh, bending stress on these test objects. And here you can see the drawing of these uh, test objects. Most important is this area here and distance from the center. Again I'm starting with CRPLA. That's 2.2 kilograms brake load. And then Hyper PLA, which was stronger but the difference is not so big quite like with the layer adhesion. Similar brakes in all four cases and this test is not so sensitive from the layer adhesion, partly yes, but uh, even here I can see a big difference, so this Hyper PLA was much stronger. The tests are a pulling test and these test objects are printed horizontally and here I have only Hyper PLA but I will compare it uh, with the average PLA later. Mm, what I expected here, average results for the PLA. And now the shell stress. Shared correctly on those two cross section areas and a little bit stronger than average PLA in this shear stress. The torque or twist test, uh, the diameter is 6 mm of this test object, and I want to record the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load. one4 Nm was the peak and also the load at 90 degree angle. Here you can see the test object. And now the ISO impact test with this uh, notch test object and a half kilogram hammer and to see is this material more tough or brittle like other PLA filaments. Hyper PLA. Zero position. For the first look definitely tougher material than regular PLA but let's see the numbers. Using this equation I can calculate the braking energy and I'll compare these values to average PLA later in results part. And now zero point bending test. Uh, these are the loads which I will place one by one and I will measure the load after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here you can see my test equipment. This part is speed out 25 times and this is a deformation under 2.5 kilograms, 5 kilograms, 10 kilograms. And after the test I analyze the object and visually I cannot see any deformation on it. Almost perfectly straight. And then the temperature test. Uh, here I have some other test objects because I have always several experience in the progress. And I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. So this red is our hyper PLA. And no surprises here, approximately 53 degrees Celsius is started with the deformation. Other two are also some kind of regular PLA filaments. Equally very soft, all three. And after just two minutes, it's already hard. And now the creep test, uh, the deformation under the constant load. And these are those test objects. Load is 1.25 kilograms. And I'm measuring this uh, distance. I'm locking the position for more accurate measuring. And here I have some glass fiber PLA for the reference video coming soon. This is day zero and I will measure this distance every day. And this is the sixth day, I already measured them. And now let's uh, remove the loads. And after 15 minutes I can see some minimal permanent deformation on them. And a little bit bigger on this uh, red hyper PLA compared to the glass fiber version. Let's analyze the results in this Excel table. You can download this from mytechfun.com website. So these are the print settings. Everything is printed on Ender 5 S1. And I will include some results here for average PLA from my earlier tests, but uh, these are usually printed slower on one of these two printers. And uh, on Ender 5 S1, the printing was theoretically 250 millimeters per second, the maximum. But uh, this printer has some limitation in acceleration I already mentioned. So probably since this is very small area on the, of these test objects, the speed was usually smaller. Anyway, let's start with the creep test. So uh, this is the raw data measured directly, the distance between two reference surfaces. But we need this difference between two days. And that's why we can see in this uh, table and also on this graph. And we can see that the creeping significantly reduced after day 
two usually or maybe three and this is typical for the PLA and don't forget this is only on the room temperature and then I think the most important the layer adhesion test and here uh, the CRPLA was quite weak uh, maybe this is designed to be printed slower maybe because this is one year old filament but this is very weak anyway I included here the average PLA and compared to this uh, the hyper PLA even printed on these uh, higher speeds uh, significantly has better layer adhesion the hook test here it uh, was compared only with the CR PLA because I don't have that uh, this for the average PLA and here the hyper PLA was stronger and the tensile test uh, well again I included here the average PLA the hyper PLA was stronger but this is not significant difference on the shell stress mm, the hyper PLA was quite good but um, I wouldn't say that this is significantly stronger compared to the average PLA now on the bending test and uh, here we can see the deformation after 30 seconds on these values but even here we can see something that we are still with the, even in this 10 kilogram load in the range of elasticity you know the hook's low you can check on wikipedia uh, what is it if the load is uh, proportional to the deformation in that case we are still in that elasticity range and well it is very close to the edge but uh, yes we can see this on this graph too because here I can see the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds for these loads and well, even on 10 kilograms it is very close to horizontal lines so we have some minimal creeping here uh, this again confirms that uh, we are close to the top of that elasticity range you know in a hook slow the torque or twist test uh, well this is the uh, load on 90 degree angle and very similar values here to compare to the average PLA on the impact test um, well uh, the hyper PLA was a little bit brittle more brittle compared to the average PLA but I wouldn't say that this is significantly big difference and on a temperature test um, it performed like average PLA so uh, usually the deformation temperature is between 50 and 55 degrees Celsius and that's what we could see here too another conclusions well I couldn't really test uh, its real possibilities but even on this let's say middle speeds on the NR5 S1 it performed better than the CRPLA but according to my previous test results it, in most cases it uh, is uh, stronger than that average PLA now it uh, really tests will be on a uh, faster printer I have K1 in this box it arrived yesterday so a little bit bad timing but uh, probably the review of this printer in most cases I will use this hyper PLA mm, it's coming soon but only after this monster here and I hope you will follow me to that video too until that thank you for watching and happy printing